This is a short student video guide to the identification of Pinus contorta. The bark of this tree is typically a red-brown, becoming grey with age, maybe dark grey on older specimens, and square-plated eventually. The shape of the tree varies with the form planted. Uh, Pinus contorta contorta is a relatively vigorous but round uh, formed crown and often used as a planting uh, for shelter belts, particularly near the coast. Uh, Pinus contorta uh, latifolia is much more upright and forms initially a pyramidal shape but eventually um, pretty much a, a very short pyramid on a long pole, hence giving the name lodgepole pine. The male flowers develop in clusters at the bottom of new shoots in April. And here we have a cluster of the cream male flowers at the bottom of the candle and a very bright red single female flower at the top of the new growth. This will be in late April, early May that you would see this. And obviously with the male pollen cones having just opened, releasing large amounts of pollen, the female flower at the top of the candle is just ideal timing receptive to that pollen. And here a close up of the female flower uh, shows its structure. Um, relatively small light green scales but these much larger pointed red stigma emerging. Uh, the woody cone is small ovate so uh, egg shaped um, with when grown vigorously quite noticeable uh, back pointing prickles on each of the scales look at between my finger and thumb there at these bottom scales of the cone and you'll see those fine prickles there this is a two needled pine so the needles are bundled into pairs as they approach the twig and it's a mid green in colour maybe with slight uh, greyish or whitish blooms near the end of the needles more noticeable from a distance than close up and here we have a close up of the base of these mid green needles where you can see the papery sheath that helps to bind each uh, pair of needles together. These are most noticeable on uh, this year's growth and wear off after a year or so on the older needles. And the winter bud is typically a long pale brown uh, tapering affair with a slight point, often rather furry in nature I've found. 